It's a Friday, I hope. I hope it's the end of the week. I'm done with this week. Today is the first day in months that I didn't wake up on time. Like all of my alarms went off and I just didn't wake up. I don't know what happened. I've, I'm on like a six month streak of not screwing my life up. Today went wrong. There we go. Everybody else in the office did the exact same thing too. So it's kind of spooky. Simulation reset. Stop cursing at me, Reese. We had an issue yesterday. I let one slip in. Bad editing on my part. Let's go ahead and talk about something before we get into the hot news, which is my wife wrote a blog post about our son's journey so far in case you contributed to the GoFundMe or you uh, are just interested in our journey with our son's rare disease and the seizures and everything that he's having. Uh, a blog post just got published yesterday called Flying and Seizing from Africa to Florida. Emmett's story. We'll leave a link down below if you case you want to read that. It's kind of detailed about like everything we've gone through uh, with him specifically. So in case you care down below, but in case you don't care about me and you're just here for the tech news, well, let's jump into it. We got anticipated release dates of our DNA too and NVIDIA. <gasps> turns out, turns out, according to a report from DigiTimes, specific quote is, with AMD and NVIDIA set to launch their next generation GPUs in September, graphics cards vendors are expected to cut prices for older generation products, stimulating demand further in third quarter 2020. So not only, not only are they dropping the bombshell that September is when we get in these cards, but they're also anticipating price drops leading up to that to clear out the old stock, which why would Nvidia do that? Why would AMD try to clear out the old stock? Oh, maybe because they're actually gonna be obsolete with these new launches because they're gonna be that much better. I'm dreaming big. I'm dreaming, I have big dreams. 40 to 50% faster is what I want, okay? I have a mighty need. I don't know that reference. <laughs> it's odd that you screamed it at me. But September, according to DigiTimes, is when these cards are coming out. That kind of falls in line with where I've been expecting October. Gives them enough time to get ahead of the holiday shopping. Gives them enough time to get ahead of the console releases to make sure that PC goes first, which is how the world should be. PC operates best and brightest. So Nvidia, AMD, September. Hold your jimmies until then. And maybe snag a good deal until that happens with all of the price drops that Digitimes is expecting. Whether or not that'll play out, obviously we have to remain, we have to be patient, wait and see if that comes about. But this is one of the first like named time launches that we've seen. So we're getting close. We're getting close to good stuff. I'm excited. So get hyped for AMD and Nvidia's next generation of GPUs and Maybe you should get hyped, or maybe you shouldn't, for AMD's next CPU launch, which is not gonna be Zen 3, if these latest reports are any indication. Gigabyte publishing a slide that indicates that we might get a Matisse refresh. And the expected CPUs to launch with that are the 3750X and the 3850X. Likely both to be eight cores with higher clock speeds. I don't, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, especially since we're supposed to be getting Zen 3 later this year, but it's been added that this is not APUs. I'm so confused. Yes, 3750X and 3850X, not APUs. Release will be on the 16th of June, which is when AMD is gonna be launching B550. And then also saying that they're gonna start selling on 7.7, which is a year from the original release of Zen 2. Why? What are these? Who want? Do what? No idea. I'm confused. Maybe they'll overclock better. Maybe AMD's optimize something in the seven nanometer process. What, what are the 37 and 3850X? And where is my low end motherboard AMD? I've been waiting for A520. Well, according to a new report, A520s might be launching in September, e, according to DigiTimes. So new big Navi, Pair that with an A520. Beautiful man, beautiful backwards man you are. Speaking of AMD motherboards, all of the companies that make AMD motherboards announced their B550 product range yesterday. You got ASRock, Gigabyte, Asus, MSI, all of them just listing all of their motherboards. I think Biostar was first, they dropped it a day early, but in case you wanna know what B550s you could potentially expect, you can check out the links in the video description to learn more about them. And we learned more about Nvidia dropping the Tesla branding. Turns out they did it years ago. They did this back in 2018 and we're only just now noticing. The issue was they launched the Tesla Turing T4 and everybody was like, okay, it's the Tesla Turing T4. But at some point they quietly stopped calling it the t Tesla T4 and just started calling it the T4 and they never alerted anybody. They did this back in 2018. Whoops. 
So NVIDIA dropping the Tesla branding a while ago, and we just noticed with the new launch that happened. But NVIDIA a while ago started making a ton of money and they haven't stopped. They announced their Q1 financial report yesterday, uh, which ended in April 26. So this does include a lot of lockdown information. Their revenue was up 39% from a year earlier, and it was down 1% from the previous quarter. So they saw a 1% decline quarter on quarter and a 39% increase from the previous year in the midst of lockdowns and quarantines. NVIDIA is a juggernaut. They don't care about consumer stuff, okay? Consumer, I mean, maybe, maybe there was an uptick with like stimulus check purchases of GPUs, but I doubt that was large enough to give them, you know, the freaking 39% increase. I mean, I didn't even get my stimulus check until after May started, so I couldn't have been, I didn't buy an NVIDIA GPU. Did you buy a GPU with your stimulus check? Let me know down below. And did you wanna to go to space? Well, Virgin Orbit is doing its first launch demo this weekend. The Launcher 1 is going to fly under its own power for the first time, and it's going to be the first time that a liquid-fueled rocket is launching in a horizontal position at a 50-mile altitude, which, when you combine it all together, sounds scary. So maybe we might get a big boom-boom. But you know what goes boom boom, Reese? Robots, police robots. You know the company that made that little BB-8, that like little toy for, for Disney? Well, Sphero is branching off into a new company to make robots for the police and the military. What? Yeah, think that Stormtrooper BB-8. Freaking, that's what they're basically doing. They're launching another company called Company Six, which sounds really sinister. Yes. Jeez. It plans to commercialize robots and AI software for first responders, government, and defense, and those who will work in dangerous situations. Whew. I'm just picturing little Scare. robots like that with tasers. Right? I mean, it's basically Metalhead from Black Mirror, but cuter. Instead of a robot dog, you just have a robot BB-8 and be like, oh, it's BB-8, oh, why does he have a gun? And why does AT and have the audacity to lie to its consumers? That's what a lot of people have been wondering with the fact that they launched 5G Evolution, which would make you think that it's 5G, but a little bit better. Turns out it's not even 5G, it's just 4G a little bit better. But they had the audacity to call it 5GE or 5G Evolution. Finally, they have decided that they're gonna stop calling it 5GE, even though they said that they respectfully disagree with the reasoning result of reached by the panel majority, but they're gonna stop calling it that. AT&T, your buttholes, okay? That it, it's, a, it's a garbage marketing tactic that you did to call it 5GE. You did the same freaking thing with your 3G network when you were getting close to 4G, you called it 3G plus or HSDPA or whatever the heck it was called. It wasn't 4G, okay? And this isn't 5G, knock it off. But apparently with this, the 5GE logo that's appearing on some smartphones on the AT&T network even though AT&T is not gonna call it 5GE anymore, it will still have that icon on the Android phone. Liars, bunch of liars. And I was lied to when I was told that the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League didn't exist, because it does, and it's dropping on HBO Max in 2021. It's happening. Rumor has it that HBO is gonna be putting in $20 million of post-production budget to actually finalize the cut because obviously the Snyder Cut, which would be a different movie, wouldn't have all the special effects. They're gonna finance that and then it's gonna drop on HBO Max. I think this is a great way for HBO to promote their stuff. Everybody wants the Snyder Cut. If they could give us the butthole cut of cats, that would also be appreciated. But I tend to agree with my friend Alessandro Barbosa over on Twitter. He said, the absolute meltdown that will follow this when everyone realizes a cut can't save that train wreck of a film. Unless there are just complete different scenes and a completely different plot. That movie sucked. And I don't care what director splices things together differently. The whole premise sucked. There's no stakes. You have Superman. That's how the movie ends. Superman's just like, oh, eyes go burr. Nothing there. Give him the mustache back. Yes, he did wear a mustache when he dropped into the uh, watching of Man of Steel. He had the mustache, it's beautiful. And a mustache. A quite few questions about the next gen of consoles because Philips is teasing their new ultra wide monitors that they're saying are ready for PS5 and Xbox Series X support. Are we going to have ultra wide gaming on consoles? That's what this is implying. Is it true? I don't know. It could just be like, hey, we'll okay. work. Yeah, we'll work with consoles, but you'll letterbox it 16 by 9 on a 21 by 9 monitor. I don't know. And marketing, you don't need to market cables anymore if you're Apple because. 
New reports are coming out that the next gen iPhone will have no ports iPhone 12, we've heard this a lot. Now it seems to be a bit more substantiated. Not even a charging port, just completely wireless. I remember first time I saw wireless charging was on the Palm Pre back in the days. It had a charger, shut up. It was one of the very first. It was one of the very first smart, it was ahead of its time. Damn you, Meg Whitman. The Palm Pre had a wireless charger that had a magnetized base. So when you set it on incorrectly, it would vertically orient the phone so that I could charge it properly. That's cool. It was really cool. It was really cool. And I don't think many other phones had Qi charging at the time. So it was dope. It's freaking dope. Meg Whitman, I hate you for killing Palm. We could have had so many amazing things. But Google's not gonna be killing off the Pixel line. The CEO of Google uh, having an interview with The Verge stating that they are super committed to the Pixel line and quote unquote, hardware is hard. It's in the name. I mean, come on. Hopefully this also means that they won't kill off Stadia, but he didn't say that. So, I mean, we still have to worry about that. And what you have to worry about if you're an Apple employee during a pandemic is maybe they're gonna move you to this new 192 room hotel that they're building in their Austin campus. They're adding a hotel to their $1 billion Austin, Texas campus. And they're adding 192 rooms for that. So my speculation is, hey, you wanna social distance at home? Haha, <laughs> come social distance at your work hotel. Obviously, it probably will be used for like people who are visiting and like flying in or big CEOs and executives who are like traveling so that they can stay at a hotel on base, not for nefarious reasons. Why would Apple ever do anything wrong? And why would Intel stop releasing new chips? Why? Because they can't advance anything? No, why would they do that? We've got new benchmarks showing off the Rocket Lake CPU with six cores and 12 threads. Not much interesting besides the fact that it boosts to 4.1 gigahertz, which obviously isn't that fast in the context of Intel chips. So it's just, it's probably really early. We obviously just had Comet Lake launch. So Rocket Lake's supposed to be launching later this year is the expectation, maybe early 2021. We'll wait until that happens. And all you had to do to get a good Xbox emulator is wait until the entire source code got leaked online. Yes, the original Xbox and, and for those of you who care, Windows NT 3.5. I rocked a computer with Windows NT for some reason. That I don't, was before my time. I don't know why my dad put Windows NT on my PC, but he totally did. Anyways, yes, source code leaked. Better emulators, because apparently the current Xbox emulators can only play around 40 of the 900 games that were on that console. So there you go. Kernels coming out. And Kernels in Civilization VI. Different type of kernel, same pronunciation. Because uh, Epic Game Store is giving away Civ 6 for free. We talked about this, it's now live, you can do that. But what's not live is people who aren't using their Netflix account. I would presume they're not live on the internet. I'm not saying they're not alive, they might be dead and that might be why. Netflix is gonna start canceling long time dormant subscriptions. They're saying anybody who hasn't logged in or used their account in two years will just have everything canceled. They're not gonna charge you for it anymore. Obviously, this is in the wake of them having huge numbers in lockdown. They're saying that this is gonna affect less than 0.5% of their total Netflix users. They're just doing this so that the billing doesn't continue unnecessarily. However, if you rejoin them within 10 months, it'll save all of your stuff. So this probably will apply to very few people and I assume if you haven't logged into Netflix for two years, you probably also aren't noticing that you're getting charged either. So um, the people will just have no idea. And people have no idea what's going on at Magic Leap. Am I laid off? Am I not laid off? What the heck's happening? Because Magic Leap just announced that it raised $350 million from new and existing investors, thus canceling the thousand person layoff that they were doing. It's unknown if they had begun with the layoffs, how many people got laid off in that time frame, in between when they sent out the notice that a thousand people are getting laid off and when they sent out a notice yesterday saying you're not getting laid off. Uh... It's good, it's good, Magic Leap's not dead, but that's, I, that's a heckin' confusing company to work for, I'll tell you. And it's a bit confusing why people want to play Valorant what with its kernel level anti-cheat thing. Obviously people have freaked out about Doom Eternal. They reversed their thing. Riot hasn't been so quick to get rid of it. Anyways, in case you do, Valorant is gonna be available for everyone on June 2nd. Got a release date. And we got a release date for Premiere Pro finally supporting the Mac Pro's Afterburner card in Premiere Pro beta. You can do it. 
And beta is what I think of me when I play Fortnite. I feel not an alpha when that happens, but I probably should have been there because the new Tenet trailer, Tenet is the new movie coming from Christopher Nolan, the trailer debuted in Fortnite. No! Yes, however, it is available on the internet now, but this gives me flashbacks to The Rise of Skywalker where they put in an important plot point in Fortnite. A little mad. And plot point, uh, if you're taking your AP tests from high school, Maybe don't use the H-E-I-C file format on your iPhone because you will fail the test. This is a new and upcoming standard that Apple's had for a while. Samsung just introduced it. Smaller files, just H-E-I-C is a thing that is happening. Well, turns out the College Board doesn't support that file format and was failing people who were submitting pictures of their work using that. And now they're allowing them to resubmit. But yeah, don't use H-E-I-C. Bad news. And don't, don't look at this article down below if you're at all squeamish about things being unnatural. There is a Twitter account called No Buttons, where it just tweets out controllers without the buttons. Mm. It's kind of like a person's face with all of the eyes and eyebrows, like just skin, a skin face. That's what these controllers look like. And it bothers me. Check this out. I don't like this. That's troublesome. And it's troublesome that we're done with this episode of Hot News. That was a lot of articles. I thank you guys for sticking with me. Don't forget to check out the blog post about my son down below in case you're curious to hear about the journey. In case you want to join a journey with us live, we live stream on Twitch every single weekday. Hot News Live. You can be part of the craziness that is, I don't know what happened yesterday. We talk about my extra long uvula that had a tumor on it one time. It's fun. Twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple. We just got Twitch partner, by the way. It's kind of exciting. Okay. So uh, check that out. Link's in the description. And I'm in the description now. Goodbye. When you combine it all together, it sounds scary. So maybe we might get a big boom boom in my pets. What's that song we listened to yesterday? Uh, the Snow by Informer. Uh, Licky boom boom down. Don't listen to that song. Snow, who are you?